This is Aditya Soma. Let's get investing. So probably if you have seen my video I posted in 2020, 2021, this building, 17 unit building, I got with the tenants, like eight, 11, 12 tenants came with the property, or oh, maybe more. So I've been slowly evicting one at a time. Now I met the almost like 11th tenant that just got evicted. And uh, now we are doing the renovations. Started 10 days ago. This is one thing I learned over the period. Know what renovations to do, know what to avoid. So what we have done in this unit, I have kept the old flooring in living area, changed the flooring in the bedroom, and changed doors, changed the closet doors, painted the whole house because paint was so dark, gross. <laughs> because this guy lived there for 15, 20 years, smoked up in the unit. So turned ugly. And uh, kitchen cabinets were actually pretty good condition. So we just painted them, but six coat of paint again. So one thing I added is nice island with a granite countertops and put some new light fixtures, change the vanity. Hi, can I get a one small coffee with half milk, half sugar? Now, you can see in other unit, we have done like brand new kitchen, brand new washroom, brand new flooring throughout the house. Complete drywall work, complete light fixtures. And it costed me almost 25,000. And guess how much it costed me for this unit? Because I kept a lot of things. It literally costed me less than $10,000. So 15,000 difference. And the rent, I would get probably $50 less than the other unit. And the tenant moving in actually next month, on the first, which is two days after. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. If you want to make sure your money works for you in a long term, then you must pick the right location. So make sure to do enough research or talk to your realtor, find out about how is the crime rate in that area? How is the amenities? How far is it from the school district? What kind of, you know, uh, students coming in is there any kind of employers nearby is there any universities nearby is there any colleges nearby is there a bus stop nearby because all these things matter when you're picking the location so pick the locations where the vacancy rate is low and where there is a high demand for rental properties so first of all understand what are all the different options you have available out there because you can buy a single family home like that you can build a brand new two unit property like this or you can buy a multifamily like that. So how can you pick which one is the right thing for you? This is where first sit down and check all your bank accounts, look at all your income and expenses, see how much money you have right now, how much can you save up and talk to a bank, see how much you can afford to buy. Then make a decision based on that. Yes, of course, getting a multifamily building is great competitive to buying a single family home. But if your budget only allows you to buy a single family, then get that single family. Because you know, something is better than nothing. Damn bro, it's too hot. Okay, so now you know which location, you know which type of property, or you're not sure. But if you set up your core team of four people, then you will get a very good picture of location and the type of property as well, which is, one start with having a very good agent who is investor focused who understand the investment properties Two, make sure ask your realtor or you find yourself a good mortgage person who understand the investing mortgage lending side three make sure this is where you can get referrals from your agents as well get a good contractor who can help you with you know renovations if needed who can help you understand what kind of work needed for the property and four you need a property manager because you know again if you're someone gonna manage yourself it's different story good luck but uh, if you want to do it ongoing basis if you want to make it really passive then you should have a good property manager so start finding this core four people so when you're buying your first one investment especially be thorough with calculating all the numbers you need to understand that you will have mortgage to pay calculate your mortgage you need to pay your property tax you need to pay your home insurance yes and you might have to pay some of the utilities you might have to pay any rental items if the property has any rental items 
or you might have to pay some you know maintenance for the grass and you know snow removal and you might have to account for vacancy rate you might have to account for property management so make sure take the numbers and if you don't know the numbers just take your realtor's help your property manager help to run those numbers and cash flow analysis is very easy income minus all the expenses i just told you whatever you incur for that particular property if it pays for itself then you're at the right investment so make sure stick to the numbers i know it's daunting especially when you're starting your investment for the first time but believe in the numbers and the facts and keep your emotions aside you will do well as an investor however if you still feel this whole process is daunting that's where me and my team come into picture we can help you get your first investment property here in Windsor Ontario especially cash flowing properties and without any hassle because you know we have the whole team that can educate you throughout the process and make you feel comfortable and get you the right investment at your finger trip send us an email for a free consulting and we'll go from there